Are you curious about Adobe's new AI image generator, Firefly, and wondering if it's worth trying out? You're in the right place. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into Firefly. Adobe might be joining the text to image generation party a little bit late, but can they harness their extensive AI knowledge to nail their first AI image generator? Is Firefly poised to set the AI world alight, or is it just a shimmering illusion? Let's explore what's in the AI image generator, and more importantly, what's not. Let's uncover the truth about Firefly together. If you're an Adobe user, you've probably anticipated the image making giant stepping into the AI image generation arena. Their hype was certainly captivating, but the beta version of Firefly, released in March 2023, seems to lack many anticipated features. Let's dive in and see what's actually included in the version. The main feature, of course, is the text to image generation tool. If you're new to AI image generation, start by trying out some of Adobe's prompts. Choose an image and click Try Prompt. And if you see one you like, click Show Similar to make more like this. But let's type in some text and see how Firefly does. The interface is clean and easy to use. Simply describe the image you want to generate. When you're ready, click Generate. The AI creates four images very quickly. From here, you can download the images. Firefly Beta isn't yet connected to your Creative Cloud account, and there is no gallery, so if you don't download the images, they will disappear. The downloaded images are watermarked. These clearly identify the images as AI, and during beta testing, the images can't be used for commercial purposes. I get where Adobe is coming from, but it feels kind of political. Adobe is trying to set a new standard, but I have mixed feelings. Photoshop doesn't label AI-assisted images, like those using content-aware fill or sky replacement, and watermarking AI images isn't an industry standard. I'll put a link to more information on Adobe's Content Authenticity Initiative in the description below. I threw my go-to testing prompts into Firefly to see what happened. I've used these prompts to test nearly 40 AI image generators. With Firefly, I got kind of mixed results. Sometimes the results were fine, sometimes even great, but other times the AI struggled. And I couldn't run my go-to random prompt because Firefly doesn't speak gibberish. The AI struggled with unreal people. There were a lot of artifacts and distortions. The AI was trained on Adobe stock photography. If I prompted for a person that was more real, something more like a stock photograph, the results were a bit better. The faces of AI people were sometimes distorted, but if you asked for a hand, you got a hand. Not perfectly every time, but mostly with the right number of fingers and thumbs. And that's more than I can say about most AI image generators. There were some coherency problems. Out of the four generated images, sometimes one of them was just really random. Which of these things doesn't belong? I started with a few simple prompts and immediately got a prompt is too short error. Well, not an error as such, Firefly will make the images. It's more of a warning that the images may not be that good. And they're right. Simple prompts don't always work. You're going to need more style. And it seems that Firefly has just the styles you want. You can choose a basic aspect ratio and a content type, photo, graphic design, or art. And you can choose from dozens of styles, colors, lighting, and composition effects. You can click on these and chain the styles together to build your prompt. Cat is too short of a prompt, but what about a beautiful, bioluminescent, steampunk cat concept art with bold lines? I got super excited about these styles and played with a lot of them until I realized that the styles weren't always reflected in the images and that no matter what combination of styles I prompted, I was getting the same general image. Firefly was just pasting a style effect over the top of the AI generated images. It wasn't regenerating the image each time I changed the style. And the content types aren't working that well either. Sometimes there's a change of style, sometimes not. Photos aren't reliably photographic. And art and graphic design aren't always two different styles. But I suppose this is a beta test, so not everything will be perfect. And for right now, you can only prompt in English. It even flagged the name of a Russian artist. And inevitably, I hit the content blockers. But surprisingly, I hit them before I started testing for them. The first time I got an uh-oh, I was running a long prompt. Nothing seemed amiss. I'd run this particular prompt through other AI image generators, including Midjourney. Adobe doesn't tell you what's wrong, just that some of the words were removed. Firefly then goes on to generate the image without the banned words. 
But the next time it happened, I was writing a much shorter prompt and the effects were very clear. Adobe's banned words include artists' names. Good to know. But the policy seems inconsistent. Some artists, like Van Gogh, were fine, and even Greg Rutowski's name didn't set off a flag. Firefly can generate good images from text, but I'm struggling to pin down the style and there's no consistency. Sometimes there are AI deformities, other times Firefly produces a fairly good, realistic photo. You'll get much better, more consistent images with Midjourney, Leonardo AI, and Blue Willow, and many of the other Stable Diffusion-based generators. But roll the dice and see what you get. It might be amazing. Let's move on to another tool in the Firefly suite, the Text Effects tool. I can't lie, I'm very excited about this tool. The idea that AI can generate text and fonts is game-changing. Type the word or words you want and describe the style you want to see. You'll get four variations of the style mapped onto your selected words, and you can change the words if you want. But this is not quite what I expected. It's not really generating novel fonts. There are only a few fonts you can choose from. Firefly is really overlaying a style onto the letters. This might be nice for headlines and graphic words, but it's not going to transform text. And not all styles work. I tried many styles, like bubble wrap, and got an error. You can choose the background color. The default is transparent. I'm not sure about the strange background artifacts. I probably need to clean these up in Photoshop before I use them in a design. And now for the third tool. Oh, wait, it's coming soon. This is disappointing, I thought there was more. There are many tools in exploration. Look what we're dreaming up. But Adobe doesn't have to dream about in-painting. It already exists in other AI text-to-image generators. I can even do in-painting in Photoshop already with the Stability plugin. And personalized results, isn't that just making a model? Jump over to Leonardo AI for 10 free models. And isn't extending the image just out-painting? This isn't new or exploratory. I'd like to see 3 d to image but I don't think it's creating 3D images. And text to pattern is helpful for designers, but it's already available with Midjourney's tile command. There are some useful things here, but I'm not seeing anything really innovative in this set of tools. I'm left with the impression that Adobe finally woke up and noticed the AI world taking over image making and rushed to get Firefly out the door. Firefly's half-baked. The ingredients aren't even yet in the mixing bowl, and some may still be in the supermarket. There are glimmers of something really good here, but Firefly Beta is a very basic text-to-image generator. Adobe's announcement was mostly hype, promises of things to come, but not yet. To say I'm disappointed is an understatement. I've never wanted to like a program more in my life, and maybe I will, eventually, but not today. Let us know your thoughts on Adobe's Firefly in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.